So uh, the next part I wanted to mention was, and this is not so much a feature, but this is a really interesting way that the link pros prospector can be used that I don't think a lot of people know about, uh, which is monitoring for brand mentions. So a lot of, there are a lot of tools like this out there already. Um, but the Link Prospector, if you already have it, it's a great way to do it, and it's it comes along with having the Link Prospector. So brilliant, yeah, yeah. This this is the one that um, uh, I didn't realize you could do. So this is great for me. Yeah, yeah, it's great. So if you type in research phrases that uh, align with your brand, so I typed in Citation Labs, Garrett French, Link Prospector, Broken Link Builder, terms that I know people mention when they mention Citation Labs, and then I searched within the past month. So I did, again, I'm going back to some of the things we talked about before. I, I made my date range more recent because probably I've done this a month ago. I don't want things that came up a couple of years ago. I want things that came up very recently. Um, so this is something you can repeat monthly to find fresh brand mentions. Um, and then I selected a depth of 100. So I selected, I went deeper because I wanted to find every single mention of our brand since these are such highly specific research phrases. Um, and I didn't do the campaign exclusions because I do want the dot coms. So we got 89 total, um, but I know we got everything. Um, and so you can see Backlinkio, Quick Sprout recently mentioned us. And I, I already knew about those, but if I hadn't, I would have been very excited. Um, and then it showed some other blogs that, that had mentioned us or referred to us. Um, I think this effective links 101.xyz is is a kind of a spammer um, referral service. So sometimes you see those and you're like, well, that's not really what I wanted. But it does show you everything, which is great. Um, and then one other thing is, as you can see, Twitter comes up. And I, I don't want Twitter because, I, I mean, Twitter mentions are great, but we're already seeing that in our Twitter profile. So one thing that you can do is I when you hover over to the right hand side of any row, the word exclude will pop up. And that means you can automatically add that domain to that campaign's exclusions. So if you're running a campaign, you see something, you're like, I don't want this in this report or any other report I run in this campaign. You can just push the exclude button, it'll automatically be added, which is another great feature I think a lot of people don't know about. 